<laughs> Everybody, Glenn Hausman here from the NYU Hospitality Investment Conference with the incredible Chris Green, president of Remington <gasps> Hospitality. Yeah. This video is brought yeah. to you by Unifocus Technology that drives value. Check them, at, check them out, unifocus.com. Congratulations. No longer hotels. You're not all about hospitality. It's about time. Well, we were, <laughs> it is. It is about time. Yeah. You know, we were always about hospitality, yeah. but this just signifies right. that we're owning it now, right? Yeah. I mean, at some point we have to step into it. We've got so much energy going on with, with what's going on in the Caribbean, some expansion we've got going on in wellness resorts, mm -hmm. our huge beverage and food platform that we've rolled out across the company. Yep. It just made sense to yeah. really name it what it is. It really does make sense. And when you stick with hotels, then you're really blocking out all of the non-traditional lodging that's coming in, right? I'm a big believer, and I've said this a lot on No Vacancy, that the next huge trend is all gonna be more outdoor focused type of properties. And my suspicion is you guys are gonna be headed down that direction as well as some others is, as well. So this better prepares you for that. It, it really does. It, it rectifies and mm -hmm. simplifies who we really are, but also it gets us ready for where yeah. we're going in the marketplace, right? So there's a lot of unused space, but the cost of construction now is so prohibitive that if you've got great space, you can do some ecotourism along mm -hmm. with your resort. You can do some glamping. You can do you know high-end trailers. Yep. Just things that people want to add onto their experience. And it really just makes sense. And, and we're all about hospitality. Mm -hmm. So this is just an add-on, and it's much more cost-effective than you'd imagine, right? Than yeah. building a new concrete building. Oh, yeah, well, for, for sure. Although some of these glamping places can be super expensive, but they come out really, really nice. And it really plays into to consumer trends. Well, one thing I want to talk to you about is going forward, pricing prices of goods and services still continues to rise, rise, rise. How are you looking to fight that to keep profitability safe within Remington Hospitality? You know, it, they were rising, they're starting to moderate. And mm -hmm. I think once we get to some clarity around the economy, Glenn, then we'll be able to make a better decision. I mean, it's things are never gonna stop rising, specifically mm -hmm. labor. I mean, insurance has been a big change this year. And then cost of goods on new construction is tough. Yep. But we've got, not only that, we've got the, the headwinds of inflation, we've got the headwinds of a maybe a recession, not a recession, the debt ceiling. Uh, I say the recession's in six months, right? Because we've been saying that for three years now. Yeah, let's keep it. <laughs> Let's move it out five years from now. Yeah, it's like a good idea. When I'm retired. I'm so. <laughs> no, I think, yeah. you know, I think it's something we're going to have to deal with, but we're just going to have to build yeah. it into our model. Mm -hmm. We've done such a great job pricing the hotels through the pandemic and coming out and making sure we're getting a fair value for our hotels. Mm -hmm. We just have got to stay the course on that. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, from here, from the NYU Hospitality Investment Conference, Chris Greed, I'm Glenn Ausman. Thanks for watching. Go to unifocus.com. Thank you very much. Bye.